there are two basic reasons why we save number one for emergencies number two for investment write it down in another series we'll take our time to deal with it there are only two reasons why we save money number one for emergencies number two for investments by the way you may want to write this down the only way money multiplies is through investments there is no other way the only way money multiplies is through investments what is investment acquisition of assets that is for another series so when you meet a wealthy man and you say daddy i want to celebrate birthday he will not just carry one million and give you he will check from all his investments which one will pay for that liability if there is no investment that pays for it he will be patient that is the economy of the wealthy the only way money grows ladies and gentlemen please hear me investments in another series we may not have time to teach that now but it is important for you to know that the law of increase is very important you need to experience increase not just the arrival of financial resources almost everybody here with decent planning no matter what level you can put something together while you are praying lord open doors of favor for me but then you are practicing your savings and you are putting something down god can now open a door for you and then you have abundant financial resources every time you spend everything you have know that your future is crying every time you spend everything you have you just punished your future practice frugality the absence of wastage justifiable expenditures be frugal especially where you are rising there are people who can afford to be you know uh, quite um, luxurious with their lives because they have paid the price to build systems that can replenish where you are starting and where you are rising you must be frugal can i be honest with you you know that you are really making progress financially when people underestimate your real worth because you reduce yourself many levels below your true worth so that you can grow people should not be able to look at you and estimate and say you are 10 million you are 1 billion you are 500 million you are 200 million you are 500 thousand no you should leave many layers below your true worth as a sacrifice to truly get to the wealthy place that is the philosophy of wealthy people a man may make may be a millionaire and yet you still see him living a modest life being frugal the day you see him acting as if he's a millionaire he has become a billionaire since so if you join him just because you made one or two million i hope you know a millionaire is not who, one who has one million or two million no a millionaire is one who has relationships that can maintain that level intelligence that can maintain that level systems and structures that can replenish at that level and then financial resources that is at least 10 million if not you are not a millionaire so you see all this philosophy of 1 million or 1.5 and we say we are millionaires then we say we have made it and then we crash back to 100,000 again as a punishment for not learning we start again and we repeat the same mistake life is a brutal teacher it will teach you as many times as you need to learn painful teaching tonight but a profitable one are we learning the law of increase for the sake of this series the next time we're going to look at the law of relation and then we'll look at the law of investments and you'll be learning that investment is not just about money like prosperity there are five levels of investment spiritual investment mental investment investment in your body and financial investment and then we'll be learning how to store wealth it's one thing to have so much but you must know how to store it the bible says strong men retain wealth there are people who have risen to one billion billions and 10 years after they crash back to the point that they cannot bring two hundred thousand. it's a terrible life that's not god's design for us it is the reason why in africa we do not perpetuate wealth because it starts and ends with us 
you start from zero naira you rise to one billion by the end of your life you're minus one your children start they balance up that to zero and start again it's not supposed to be so the bible says a good man liveth an inheritance for his children's children not his children you must be two generations ahead that's how you measure your success